When a baby is born, there is this idea of what this baby's life should look like. Now, I don't mean, you know, what hobbies they're going to have, what friends they're going to play with, what their job is going to look like, but I mainly mean the timeline that this baby's life is going to have. The whole idea of at a certain age, you go to preschool and then you go to school. And once you graduate uh, high school, you have to go to post-secondary. And once you finish your undergrad or your master's or your PhD, you have to get a job. And after you get a job, you should buy a house and put a down payment on a house. And most likely, you can't afford to pay the house in full, so you need a mortgage and then you got to pay for your mortgage and pay for your bills and then you probably want to get a car and then you should get married and have kids and then you retire at the age of 65 and that's it and it's this whole idea of you know this preconceived timeline that people put into our heads um and it kind of puts a lot of pressure on us um Especially, you know, once we're, once school is over and it's kind of this whole thing of like, well, well, what now, right? Um, and a lot of people do, you know, after they graduate, they get a job and they live that, that timeline that society has put onto us. But there's also people like me who don't necessarily want to follow that timeline, uh, who don't believe in that timeline. And... I think it's people like us who feel a lot of pressure. You know, for me, for example, I just graduated university and I got a job offer from the internship that I was working for and I decided to decline it because I wanted to spend my full time uh, working on this, but working on this channel. I wanted to really give this a shot. And that was a really hard decision for me to make because of that whole idea that is put in our heads of like, you know, right after you graduate, you have to get a job and you have to start, you know, working for a company. And, and that is, you know, the life that you should have. That is how you should live your life. And for me to say no to that was a really hard move, you know, especially in the day of age that we live in now where everyone is posting on social media. I see people my age, I see people from high school or from university or whatever who you know, graduated and got a job and are now working, you know, are now what society would consider an adult, uh, a working adult uh, that's contributing to society and to the economy, to the capitalist economy that we live in. And, you know, I'm comparing myself to these people and, and I'm, you know, I'm living in my parents' basement, uh, not making any income from, you know, this and uh, just living off of the government money that we're getting paid. Um, and contemplate you know just constantly trying to reassure myself that you know i am i'm okay I, i'm doing I'm, I'm i'm fine and and just because i'm not following this timeline doesn't mean that i'm a wreck or it doesn't mean that you know i'm i'm a failure and for someone like me who like really you know has a hard relationship with money like it is hard for for me to you know not just jump into that world of you know just go work for someone because it is so easy i can i can just go ahead and do that um but then comes in the whole idea of working a nine to five job five times a week only to essentially live for the weekend the whole idea of trading time for money the whole idea of only having one source of income that could be taken away from you at any moment and the whole idea of just you know working for someone else taking someone else's orders all of that just um doesn't sound too appealing to me for starters the whole idea of working a nine-to-five job where you're looking forward to the weekend doesn't really make sense to me because for someone to be doing that until the age of 65 you've spent three quarters of your life just like working hard um doing something just so you could get to that last quarter of your life to get to freedom and to experience what life has to offer. And that doesn't make any sense to me because first of all, when you're in the last quarter of your life, you're approaching, you know, health complications, you know, like 
uh, just not being as um, as physically fit to be able to do certain things. Um, maybe you've lost interest in certain things that you once were interested in. All sorts of things that come uh, as you're nearing the end of your life. And I don't think that should be the only time that you get to experience life. You know, we, we only live once we, none of us know what's gonna happen after this life. And for us to spend three quarters of our life working towards that, it, it, it doesn't make sense to me. And so that's one of the reasons why I don't believe in just having one source of income, because like I said before, it could be taken away from you in any second. You know, the company could go bankrupt, um, COVID could happen and, and you know, it could, it could happen again, or they just let you go just because and now you are stuck and who, who said that you're going to be able to find another job easily. And that's when the whole idea of passive income and having multiple income streams comes in because, you know, that's gonna help you out because if one income stream all of a sudden gets taken away from you, you still have all the other ones to fall back on until you can find a replacement for that other one. Um, and so of course, one of your income streams could be working for someone else while you have a bunch of other things. Um, but I think just relying on that one job as your only source of income just does not make sense. I think this whole video is just like a ramble on about what society expects of us and um, I honestly think that if there wasn't this preconceived timeline that everyone has in their minds, a lot more people would be living much more freely and would be doing things that they truly want to be doing in life. I think you know that when you're living your life for the weekend, you're not living a very happy life and you're probably living a very stressful life. and stress is very well known to cause a lot of health complications and i don't think that it's worth it it's not worth the money it's not worth anything to me another thing with the whole preconceived timeline is you know having to put a down payment to a house or getting a car um, or having kids and all of which are things that cost money <laughs> first of all putting a down payment to a house you know you now are bound to a mortgage because whatever job you got you most likely can't um, afford to buy the house in full depending on where it is um, but most likely you can't uh, and so now you got to pay a monthly mortgage and that costs money and now you know you're you're stuck with that and on top of that you know you get a car and then on top of that you, you have kids and now you know you can't just like one day feed your kids one day not right you want to take them places you want to you know, you, you, you want to make them happy. And of course that makes sense, but then that becomes even more expensive. Um, I think the main thing that bothers me and the main thing that I have to work on is dealing with the pressure, you know, the pressure of living life in a certain way, because it constantly comes back to me. It constantly, I, I'm constantly reminded of it. And I think that the main reason I'm constantly reminded of, you know, like that life that I should be having, uh, is because of social media. And that is one of the things that I guess I struggle with. I catch myself very often, you know, going on social media and uh, seeing someone that's doing something or seeing someone posting about their job or posting about, you know, them being successful in a certain way uh, and just ha literally having to exit that app because it just makes me feel like I'm so behind in life. And I think that social media tends to do that it tends to make a lot of us feel behind a life it tends to make a lot of us feel like we're not doing enough like we should be at a certain point and like we're not there and so like we're you know clearly doing something wrong but the reality is that every single person has a different timeline everyone is different right like everyone looks different believes in different things likes different things and so each person has a different timeline of how their life is going and what direction their life goes, you know? Different people go to school during different times. You know, some people graduate when they're 20 and some people graduate when they're 40. Some people, you know, jump from job to job and other people work in the same job for 20 years. And all of those things are okay. You know, I, I, I'm a true believer that as long as you're not hurting yourself or hurting others, it doesn't matter what you do. You know, a good example is um, some people believe in one religion, some believe in another, and some just don't believe in anything, right? And all of those things are okay, right? Like, well, most most people kind of just accept that, you know? And I think the same thing should be applied to how we live life, how each person lives life. And I, and I get the whole thing of, you know, people just, they, they worry for you, they just, they want the best for you, and, and, and that's all great, but I think 
I think, you know, at a certain point, it's like, it just doesn't really make sense. Um, I guess I just wanted you to know that, like, at the end of the day, we're all going to leave Earth, right? Like, you know, no one is staying here forever. And um, I think the best thing to do is to just, like, experience life and to just experience life the way that you want it to be experienced. And, you know, if that means not following societal norms, then that's what you have to do. And that is so much easier said than done. And, you know, people are in so many different circumstances. But I think if you just keep that in mind that, you know, that there is no right way to live, then I think you'll be a lot happier. And I think, you know, if you follow, if you just follow happiness and fulfillment, I think you'll be fine. Because, you know, if you follow society and you follow money, you know the answer. You, you, you know, you know, that, that's what the whole video was about. So yeah, just know that you're not alone if you have been feeling this way or feel this way. You're definitely not alone because I certainly feel a lot of pressure and I certainly, you know, feel like I'm behind in life and I certainly feel like perhaps the easy thing to do is just to go get a job that, you know, is at working at a company and just go do that because that is the easy thing to do. That is the easiest thing I could do right now is just open an app, like go apply to a bunch of jobs and just get something and the way that i view a fulfilling life is not by doing that but rather by you know working for myself and creating my own stuff and that is a much harder route and that is why so many people don't do that because that is way riskier way harder and um society likes to you know put in your head that it's crazy and that you know don't do that um, maybe do that when you're like 50 and you've got all this money in your hand and I'm sorry, but I'm not waiting until I'm 50 to do that. So anyway, I think I've rambled on for long enough. Uh, there was no script here. I just went off of whatever it came to my mind. And I would love for you guys to let me know if you like this sort of vibe, this sort of style of video. This was, you know, like I said, unscripted. I just kind of rambled on, uh, talking about my thoughts about this one topic and, um, I don't know, I kind of, I, I want to make a series where, you know, I just, I just talk and um, I don't script it. I just kind of say what's on my mind. I think I'm going to make this into a podcast as well. Uh, and so, yeah, if you like it, I'd love to know your thoughts on this because, um, well, I want to create stuff that both of us actually like. And before I get going, if this video helped you out, anything, it's going to help someone else out. Share it with a friend, share it with someone that, you know, you think would really benefit from it. And if you haven't already, I would love for you guys to subscribe to us and to join our community of living a better life. We'll see you later.